Today we celebrate St. Louis de Marillac. Born in 1591 in France, she received an education from the Dominican convent and eventually discerned that she was called to religious life. After consulting her confessor concerning her plans to enter religious life, Louise decided not to pursue this vocation. Instead, she married Anthony Legras in 1613. But Anthony died in 1625, and Louise again began to think about joining a religious community. Soon after the death of her husband, she met St. Vincent de Paul and began to use him as a spiritual director. With his encouragement and direction, Louise formed a group of women dedicated to serving the sick, the poor, and the neglected, as it was frowned upon for wealthy women to serve those outside of their own social class besides raising money. In 1642, Louise wrote the formal rule for the Daughters of Charity, and in 1655, they received formal approval from the Vatican. After forming the rule for the Daughters of Charity, Louise traveled around France, forming convents and instituting the Daughters as workers in hospitals, orphanages, and other institutions dedicated to helping the neglected. She worked tirelessly until she died in Paris in the year 1660. She was canonized by Pope Pius XI in 1934 and was declared patroness of social workers in 1960. So how's that? Pretty interesting, huh? Think about entering religious life, then you think about not entering, you get married, your husband dies, and you go back in and do good and become a saint. That's the way to do it, Louise. Good for you and good for us, and God bless us all.